Hey guys, so um, I'm just going to be filming this quick like vlog, I guess, um, before the tutorial I'm about to show you, which is on this hairstyle, boho wave hairstyle thing, which if you want to just get to the tutorial, you can just click here. I won't be offended. Um, but yeah, I have some stuff to talk about before I show you my tutorial. So um, first of all, thank you so much for subscribing if you've watched me. Um, I've recently hit 500 subscribers and um, that's a really big deal for me. That's that's pretty crazy. Um, I never really thought I would even get 100 subscribers and I was freaking out when I did at that point and now it's just like crazy. I know compared to like people with hundreds of thousands of subscribers, you're probably just like get over yourself, but like, I don't know, I just, ooh, ah. So, um, yes, thank you. Uh, that's insane. I really appreciate it. Recently, I put up a fashion lookbook for spring, and I will link that here, by the way. I posted on my Facebook, and um, I'm actually friends with Rachel Whitehurst, which um, known on YouTube, she's, I call it Ambrosia, and if you know her from Tumblr, she's 87 Days Before. I've talked about her before a little bit on here. She's my favorite YouTuber, apart from the Vlogbrothers, but nobody can beat them. She, uh, she liked my video on Facebook, and then she subscribed to me, and I still can't get over it. It's been almost a week since that happened. I, I still think that it's a dream when I wake up, and also she's like, um, when I was freaking out on my Facebook, I was like, oh my god, like, she subscribed to me, what is my life? And she's like, oh my god, this bitch with a heart, and I just died. Ah, I just died! I fucking actually cried. Okay, seriously, um, that was, like, a milestone, um, but not even a milestone, more like endgame, kind of. <laughs> not that I won't keep making videos, but oh man. Okay, I don't know what else to say about that, so I'll just stop talking, um, and let you kind of, like, let that sit with you. <laughs> so the next thing I have to talk about is um, I have been in a collab channel for about a month now I think I think we made our fourth video or so um, last week so I just I haven't formally announced it or anything like that on on a video I just posted the link below I don't know if you've noticed that or not but um yeah it's a nerd fighter collab and it's with seven um, other people other nerd fighters and they're really really awesome people and um, yeah, I don't know. Basically, it's just like more of a it's a vlog style channel, I guess. And like sometimes we do themes and we do punishments. Um, so if you want to check that out, that'd be cool. I'll link everything below that I've talked about so far. Um, examples of videos I've done is of course my introductory video, um, Harry Potter tag, a review of Phineas and Ferb, most random thing ever. And what else did I do? Oh, and then just like a sit down, hello. Um, I hate looking for a job vlog. Um, yeah, so if you want to check that out, I will post a link down below, like I said, and thank you if you do. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't think I have anything else to talk about, but I did need to get that stuff out of the way and didn't want to make a full video about it. Anyways, thank you so much for subscribing to me. Um, it means so much to me, and it means so much that you like and comment and everything. Of course, this is all cliche. You know that I'm thankful for it. Yes, thank you. Now onto the tutorial, um, this is boho waves and um, how to have boho hair I guess because I added this and this and yeah just talking about it in general and then I did of course the actual tutorial with a curling wand. First you'll need a one and a half, I think this is one and a half, I don't actually know, this doesn't say anywhere which size it is but I'm guessing um, that this is one and a half inch and it is by Iconica. Ionica. Oh okay, Ionica. And you will need a heat protectant spray, I'm using Chi 44 Iron Guard and a hairbrush. So um, first I have my hair in a middle part. Um, you don't have to put your hair in a middle part, you can put it a little bit off to the side. Um, but in my opinion, the boho kind of waves uh, hair look, I guess, hairstyle, um, really comes together when you have a part that's really not on the side. Just make sure it's like at least somewhat in the middle. First I'm going to just brush it out and then add some heat protectant. And also this is second day hair, so just like um, ignore the fact that it's already kind of wavy because I have Um, Chief 44 Iron Guard in all of my hair and concentrating on my bangs because they are the most dead part of my hair I think and the ends okay so what I do is basically part my hair in two sections and then I start with the back section of um, of one of them I guess um, so basically take a section of hair and it doesn't really matter what size it is because I find that kind of taking different sections that are different sizes of hair um, kind of add to the like eclectic styling of this tutorial. So um, basically I'm taking about, it's probably a little bit
bit less than an inch and then I'm gonna take my um, curling wand and put it around twice and then there's a section of hair here I don't know if you can see that um, there's a section of hair that I'm not gonna put on because I don't want the end to be curly so um, basically hold it on for about 10 seconds at the most and then let it drop and don't put it in your ha in your hand like a lot of people do that like to keep the curl because you don't really want it to bouncy you just kind of want it to be um, a fallen out wave so then you have this and the end is kind of straight-ish I guess it depends if you have curlier like wavy or straight hair but um, for the most part you just want it to be like untouched at the bottom kind of. where was I so um, I usually I curl my hair out with with this tutorial because it kind of um, the whole look is to look like you're windblown from the front I guess so um yeah so I'm gonna take another section this one is kind of a little bit bigger and I'm just gonna wrap it around again and I'm gonna start a little bit higher this time since this section is a little bit um, farther up I guess like in my head <laughs> oh my God. and it's all it only went around like two and a half times you can see that Okay, once I get to like my bangs, which are short like this, um, I'm just going to leave them for now and I'll come back to them after. So now you have half your hair done and it looks kind of like this. And I just put my fingers through it a little bit because you don't really want it to be like tight um, curls that are separated. And then I'm going to move on to the other side. Okay, so now the um, the majority of the hair is done and I have to do my bangs. So basically what you want to do is like do the exact same thing but like a much higher and do it like only one and a half like um, thingies, <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> and just leave it a little bit longer because these ones will fall out when you put your fingers through it um, pretty quickly because it's so short. So I'm leaving it for about 10-15 seconds and then take it out and this will fall out but um yeah basically what you have is like that and then you just like brush it through and it'll just like kind of combine with the, the rest of your curls. So I'm gonna do this side now and I'm kind of gonna include this long piece. It's, it's kind of coming with it when I grab it so so basically ooh, so I'm gonna do twice around with the normal bangs and then I'm just gonna go once around again with the longer piece because I have it there. Okay, so now that this is all curled, um, I'm just going to show you like a couple things you can put in your hair to make it look boho-esque. So um, the first thing you can put in your hair, which I've seen a million of these going around stores, there's so many different colors and styles you can buy, um, is a feather hair extension. And these are in last year, like very in, but I never even really bothered to get one. They're so expensive. A lot of places are like $25 for like this, and me and my sister actually make these, and we made this one. And it's super, super easy. There's tutorials on it for um, like DIY videos on YouTube. If you want me to make a tutorial on how to make these, um, I can do that. But there's just a lot on YouTube right now. So you can just go check that out. Um, basically, if you put feathers in your hair or little braids or little braids and feathers, like a feather hair extension or feather earrings, um, throughout like parts of your hair, you kind of get that um, eclectic vibe, I guess. And yeah, it, it adds to it a lot. Like this. <laughs> or you can do the next thing, which I'm about to show you. Or both, which I'm going to leave this in for now. Or you could use um, a headband and put it on top of your head like this. Um, you can use a thicker one or a thin one, doesn't matter. I just have this thing, and this is actually a bracelet that was like a wrap bracelet that I actually cut. Um, and then I tied it in the back. I'll take it off now. In the back. And I just tied it. And it has like little dangly things all over it. And I love it. I wear it all the time now. 
Anyways, yeah, so, um, this is how you achieve boho hair. Um, and, yeah, I will see you in my next video. Bye!